Hello, fifth graders. We are going to get started on a new unit this week. The unit this week is all about the genre of book and movie reviews. Again, I asked you to just kind of brainstorm about genres that you are familiar with that we've studied. Remember the last few weeks that we've studied the genre of plays. Um, you're also familiar with a lot of other genres like poetry and nonfiction and realistic fiction and fantasy. So book and movie reviews are just another genre that we are going to focus on as we continue practice reading. So in order to understand book and movie reviews, I asked you to go ahead and jot down these four questions and just brainstorm your answers, as well as make this concept map over here on the right side of the screen. And again, just brainstorm some answers. So as I go through this, feel free to pause this at any time and add any of these details to your questions or your concept map and your notes as we go. So let's get started. What is a review? A review is a text that evaluates a book or a movie. It usually describes what happens in the book or movie and gives opinions about it. It tells us what is good and bad about the book or the movie, and it usually gives details to support those opinions. What is the purpose of a review? Well, the main purpose is that many people want to know about a book or movie before they see it, which means the purpose would be to inform us about the book or the movie. And who's the audience? Well, the audience is anyone who's interested in reading the book or seeing the movie. And how should you read a review? Well, as you read the review, you should think about the facts and opinions that the reviewer gives about the book or the movie. You should also think about connections you can make to them, which is one thing we're going to do. Remember, we've practiced a lot of connections and thought about how connections help us better understand what's going on in a text. And we're going to continue doing that this week. And then overall, you need to think about if the book or movie would interest you and make a judgment about whether you would read it or watch it. All right, so here are some features. Here are some things that you are going to see in all of the book and movie reviews that you read this week. First, the review usually has a catchy title just to grab um, the reader's attention and it gets across the reviewer's general opinion. Next, the review includes a summary and identifies the intended audience. So usually the book or movie review has a brief summary of the book or the movie, although I think it is important to say that it does not give away the ending of the book or the movie and usually lets you know what um, people might be interested in that book or movie, what the audience might be. Next, the book review gives information about the book and the author. So not only does it give us information about the book, it also usually tells us who the author is and might tell us a little bit about the author. Same thing with a movie. It gives us information about the movie, but it also might let us know the people who made the movie or directed the movie. Next, the review evaluates the book and the movie, identifying strengths and weaknesses. Um, just like the last week, we're going to be working on opinions and facts. And this is where the opinions come in, because the reviewer will give their opinion and might not everybody might agree on it. Um, but they will tell us what they think, in their opinion, are the strengths and the weaknesses of the book or the movie. The review includes the reviewer's judgments, again, the opinions, and compares the book and the movie. Again, if it is a review of a book and a movie, there could be comparisons made between the book and the movie in the review. And lastly, the review concludes with a question or statement about what the reviewer thinks. So usually there's just a summary statement that wraps up overall what the reviewer thinks about the book or the movie. So again, these are all things to be thinking about and looking for as you practice reading book and movie reviews this week. Bye, fifth graders.